Hey Capricorn, this is Soul. And Capricorn, this is your uh, bi-monthly messages beginning August 1st and ending August 11th. I um, decided to use the August 1st to August 11th uh, time frame just so that um, I'm back on schedule. I am back from my vacation and um, <clears throat> basically didn't want to leave you guys hanging. This message is for uh, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Before I begin, I hope Capricorn that you guys are doing okay. Those who are uh, enjoying, you know, in the geographics to enjoy summer, I hope you're enjoying summer. But most importantly, I hope you're just enjoying life and you're being happy, okay? So new month, new energy. I'm using a new tarot deck as I always like to try to do. Um, just to see the vibe I get and the connection that I receive. I'm using the Fountain Tarot, and the deck was created by Jonathan Says, S-A-I-Z. So you may not be able to see it because of the glare. It's a very uh, colorful box. And this particular deck he has, um, normally uh, the creator's, you know, guild uh, the cards were gold, but this is silver, so that sort of like uh, intrigued me a little bit. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into uh, your messages for the time frame August 1st to August 11th, 2019. Okay, messages for Capricorn. Oh, I forgot to mention too, I'm using the uh, new Affirmators Oracle deck. Another deck I came across while I was on vacation just to it's change things up a little bit. It's card of, Cards of Inspiration. It doesn't come with a textbook, so the messages are clearly written on the card. And it's just, you know, messages to help you to uh, to help inspire you. OK, so let's see what the energies are coming up for you. Remember, Capricorn, shadow card energy is energy that may play out along with the rest of the cards that I'm going to select for you. And also, if it is a major arcana to pay attention, it will play out. All right. So messages for Capricorn. Very good card stock. I like that because it's able to uh, shuffle easily. All right. So let's see what's coming up for you, Capricorn. Very uh, few reversals, if any. Uh, so anyway, let's begin. Your shadow card energy uh, relates to the Seven of Wands. Okay, so the Seven of Wands is here um, in the upright position. So the Seven of Wands for me means for um, not, you know, battles and um, being defensive, although it could be. If you guys are experiencing that type of energy, but for the most part, for me, it represents. Hey, you know what? You make up your mind about something, you stand your ground. OK, because there's the opposition. Those are the ones that are looking like they're coming after him or her. Stand your ground. When you make up your mind about something, Capricorn, do not fold, do not bend, do not change your mind. OK, because if the seven of wands, then their energy comes in with a lot of friction. All right. So. <clears throat> it could be that you need to um it doesn't necessarily have to be major decision making but just you know decide on something and then just stick to it now the reason why i say that is that it may not be pleasurable to others who are in connection to that energy but it's not about them it's about you okay <laughs> so do not fold do not bend stand your ground okay now that stand your ground can mean or be extended out to almost all aspects of your life because of the fact that this is just a open general reading okay but you have to apply the standing your ground do not fold do not bend to your particular situation the seven of wands represents um the fire sign energies aries leo sagittarius male or female so it could be that you're some Capricorns I'm reading for dealing with fire signs. OK. All right. So but your overall energy that you need to focus focus on is also part of your energy because it's the hermit card. Major Arcana. 
Now, the Hermit represents Virgo, but it's part of your energy, Capricorn and Taurus as well. So the major arcana of the Hermit, having to, um, the thing that you, some of you may need to focus on for the entire two weeks is to evaluate something. OK, you need to break off your energies temporarily uh, and whatever, you know, whatever those um, things are that you need to, you know, take some time. This is called a meditation. This is part of, um, you know, they say solitude, but it's not necessarily, you know, I don't always see it as such, but it could be the case for you. Um, it could be, a you know, a reason or a need for some of you to um, just to meditate, you know, just to meditate. Uh, whatever it is that you are uh, trying to manifest and that you're, you know, desiring to bring into your life. Um, also, it's the card of, uh, you know, introspection. OK, now the introspection could be in relationship to other people or it could be that you need to just temporarily break your energies off so that you can do some introspecting um, of self. You know, to evaluate where you are, where you want to be, where you're going, and then you attach that to, um, you know, whatever is going on that's important for you at this particular time. OK, but this is a, a neutral card for me. And then when you come out, then hopefully you'll have a clearer um, perspective as to what you're going to do. All right. So we open up with the Hermit card, Capricorn, and not bad energy. So uh some introspection okay taking place for some of you evaluating things next card up is the moon card another major arcana so of course keep in mind that you know the more arcanas or major arcanas that show up here the more intense the energy will be so this moon card is the card that says um relates to of course secrets uh a cycle being completed it is in the past position so for some of you um maybe the hermit card has to do with evaluating something from your past that you're trying to move away from so this uh, moon card represents pisces and the other um water signs cancers and scorpios male or female so secrets reputations cycles endings uh this also to could come in with um in the past position for some of you have maybe had dealt with some a little bit of depression or uh, fluctuating moods up and down melancholy or whatever um, is the case for you. And then there's a mystery, even though this is not the high priestess, I'm digging into uh, something of a mystery for some of you have come to an end or completion. Now, that mystery could be relative to um, someone that you're dealing with, someone that you could be, um, you know, family situation, a friend, a romantic partner. It could be involving your work. It could be involving your environment. Something about a completion of a mystery comes to an end. That would be that cycle. And then some of you are um, ending reflecting um, about something from your past. And now you're ready to move forward. Um, possibly some of you want to put the past behind you. Okay. Moon card following the moon card. Now Capricorn is the ace of coins. See, <laughs> look at that, your energy. So this is the start of something. The aces are always the start of something new, new beginnings, uh, depending on the elements. And this is an open general reading. So this is a work, a new job. This could be a new career. This could be an, uh, advancement, or an increase of uh, receiving money because this is the card of generosity. All right. So keep that in mind. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody gets a new job. Maybe the uh, Hermit card comes in to evaluate uh, for some of you about where you currently work. And if you are uh, seriously, you know, thinking about, uh, you know, leaving one job for another job that pays more money, that would be the Ace of Pentacles showing up here, but that's part of the hermit uh, energy. And also, too, even though it's not the swords, it's the eight, uh, seven of wands to you make up your mind or you, you know, stand your ground. Do not fold, bend. All right. So this is your energy and that energy of uh, Taurus and Virgo, male or female. Following that ace of pentacles. Now, the ace could also represent a birth of a child. All right. A birth of a business ideal. Um, 
anything related to money and finances, but it's an increase. It's the start of something new. Knight of Wands. Here we go. Knight of Wands is showing up in the upright position. This is a court card. This is someone coming to uh, someone's rescue. This could indicate if we get a cup in here, it would strongly indicate a relationship, but it could be romantic, platonic, could be involving, you know, family. This Knight of Wands could be just someone who comes along and helps you, assists you. Uh, for something real quick and then they disperse real quick. That's the uh, wands energy. All right. So we have the knight of wands in the upright uh, and they that knight of wands is representing Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, male or female. OK, let's move right on from the knight of wands. We have now Capricorn. Oh, the three of swords. OK, so let me just uh, talk about the three of swords here because it showed up here for another sign and they had so many positive cards that I had mentioned that the focus would be on that three of swords for the majority of you. For whatever reason, the three of swords in the tower that shows up, it just sort of like devastates the entire reading. No, the three of swords energy is here because it will impact somebody that I'm reading for. Now, keep on. Uh, well, now keep on, but keep in mind. And I, I neglected to mention this in uh, the other uh, signs reading, too. Even though that three of swords is very, very powerful in terms of its energy it's in the upright. It means so many things to, you know, different people. It's a card of grief, separation, heartache, worry, concerns, mental agility, friction, love triangles, someone forming a wedge to come between you and your uh, partnership, your friendship, your family members. Whatever that energy is for you. Also, what I neglected to mention about that three of swords, it could primarily be just a separation of ideals. And I say that because uh, it didn't come. It didn't come to me until after I closed up their video. Like, oh, wow, I guess I was being prompted to say that, but I didn't say it because I moved on to something else that it could be the three of swords showing up here for someone for a separation of ideals. Say if you have, for an example, Capricorn, three things going on in your mind. Now, I'm tying this into the seven of uh, wands uh, energy, uh, standing your ground. If you make up your mind, make up your, you know, make a decision. So I was waiting it's not the card that I was waiting to see, but if a sword has showed up, more or less, this is what I was saying about you have to make up your mind. If you make up your mind, then you stick to it and do not fold, do not bend, stand your ground. But going back to the three of swords and having three separate ideals, OK, or three separate things going on in terms of um, things to do. Three ideals could be uh, related to your work, related to your uh, family, related to your uh, relationships, ideals. Keep that in mind, ideals. And then it brings in uh, you're dealing with the three of swords energy because you can't. It, it's, a, it's a card of conflict. Basically, it's a card of conflict. OK, so that I wanted to throw in there and it may be for uh, some of you. If this three of swords energies, you know, opens up for you, that's all that it is for the others. Then it's still, you know, those st same energies that I had mentioned before, grief, separation, heartache. Uh, so oftentimes when the three of swords shows up here, it, you know, I hate to <laughs> mention it, but it's always like, uh, uh, you know, like a loss of a pet, you know, not necessarily a family member, but a loss of a pet. It could be someone who's already together in a relationship, but there's no, um, break up, but there's a separation of distance. That means that, you know, this person could be uh, serving time in the military. Um, and then the separation between you creates the three of swords energy. But it is still a card of divorce, separation, breakups and what have you. Underneath the hermit card, definitely a card of introspection. So maybe someone needs to uh, evaluate uh, some type of relationship that's causing this three of swords energy. All right. And then remember, the moon comes in as a cycle being completed uh, and then a new cycle opens up. Then it's a fresh start, new beginning. It could be with a re uh, relationship. It could be a new job. It could be a birth of a child, whatever. Knight of Wands. And I'm just recapping here. Knight of Wands could also come in as um, 
since it fall, uh, precedes the Three of Swords, maybe someone's having difficulties with a true fire sign. This is a court card that, you know, the court card precedes the Three of Swords. And even though there's, there's still an attachment here, there's some sort of Three of Swords energies that may be playing out. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, represents that Three of Swords uh, in the upright position. Okay, and remember I said it could be someone who is on the uh, outskirts who is trying to form a wedge between uh, your partnership your um and that could include business partnerships since the pinnacle shows up here uh friendship romantic partnership family okay it could be all of those things but these are just examples so whatever it means for you this is what's coming through following the three of swords now capricorn we have the queen of coins okay i like this queen of coins in this deck she's in the upright position so uh of course we're still didn't receive any cups, but that's okay because the ace is here as the beginning of something new. And then the queen comes in here. That's where I said that someone's either getting a new job or promotion to a higher position and an increase in pay. Okay, the increase in pay. This could be an entrepreneur cycle change. It's over, you know, underneath the moon, a phase ending for someone. And it may be related to work in general. This is a good two week time to, um, you know, two week period to ask for favors in the workplace environment because this queen would represent your uh, boss. This could also be a male. And then also, too, this is a good two week uh, period of time to apply for credit. This would be your banker. OK. Apply for loans, credit, what have you. following now isn't it amazing here because i just caught this this is your energy the queen of coins or the queen of pentacles and this is the knight so am i reading for a capricorn who is contemplating a separation from a fire sign see because if these cards were aligned any other that's how that would look you see that and then the three of swords is right in the middle These are two court cards. So is there a Capricorn who is dealing with a fire sign and there's a could be a, a divorce, pending divorce or a separation? That's just one example. OK, I just happened to catch that following the queen of coins, Capricorn. Now we have. The two of swords. So this is a card of minor conflict. This could be alternative routes. This could be having to make a choice or a decision about work. Because it's uh, underneath the Ace of uh, Pentacles. Someone having to uh, decide of a choice related to two things. It's either work related or it could be uh, involving another person. This Two of Swords uh, oftentimes for me comes in as a conflict of, um, I would specifically talk about it in the uh, general love readings. Uh, sexual identity conflict you know this this is my bisexuality card point blank okay so now that does not necessarily mean it's a bad thing it's just what i'm I always get that energy uh that someone is conflicted about um someone may be conflicted or someone could be perfectly fine with um enjoying the company of both sexes this could also represent an alternative route where, you know, you have to on your regular normal schedule for work, uh, then there's a road uh, detour or something like that. And you have to take an alternative route to get to your work or your other or some other destination. But it's only minor. OK, something that you're um, ambivalent about. It mirrors the three of swords. See, three and now two. And then we have the court card right in the middle. So I'm, I'm reading for somebody who's separating from uh, it could be a separation from a business, as I mentioned before, because the queen of pentacles represents work, finance, business, and it follows that three of swords. OK, separating from something or someone. All right. So. The last card that I have for you, Capricorn, is, oh. 
the three of cups is here. And I inadvertently made a mistake on Sagittarians uh, reading because I thought the three of cups was something completely different. This is the three of cups. It must have been the two of cups. Anyway, you have the three of cups. So you finish your reading with a good card. Okay, and I mentioned if there's cups that show up here, then it would uh, definitely in definitely would uh, insinuate that there is a relationship that could take place. This is a card of celebration, anniversaries, uh, someone's birthday, out and about and enjoying each other's company. This is a card of social uh, invites. This could be just going to um, after hours. You know, drinking for after hours, celebrating. Emotional happiness, uh, satisfaction, and contentment. This represents children. But it's about being happy in the company of others. Now, what does that mean? Because the Three of Cups mirrors. Okay, so that could just simply mean that if somebody's separating, um, from some sort of energy. This could be the end result after the separation, the three of cups. That could be from a work situation or it could have been, a, you know, from a relationship that was straining the hell out of you or stressing the hell out of you, whatever the situation is for you. But we finish up with a good card and I like that. All right. In spite of what I said about everything else, that focus will be for some of you on that three of swords. Uh, anyway, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female represents that Three of Cups. And I'm going to have to go back and look at that video. Maybe I have to do another one for them because I miscalled that one. I have to look at the card. All right, so let's select the card uh, Capricorn Affirmators, Affirmators, Affirmators. Let's see what it says. And the card that has been uh, selected for you is love. Okay, love is a many splendored thing. Uh, today I will notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors. Like the fact that puppies make me feel like a parent. Or the surge of self-congratulation I feel when I sink a three-point trash basket shot on the first try. Or how about the chills I get when singing along to, then it has here a blank name, of song you know the one so whatever the song is that you are that you know that's what it says here fill in the blank there all right so that is your message um capricorn for the time frame august 1st to august 11 2019 thank you guys once again appreciate you um please be safe always in emphasizing that safety continue to enjoy life be happy and sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Take care, Capricorn. Bye.